Good morning, you guys. We are going to go on our adventure today, taking you all around Seattle. If you are in town or if you're a local, I wanna show you some of my favorite spots in Seattle. So we're gonna do that scavenger hunt that I talked about. We have scrolls, bing, just like that. And we even have message in a bottle, double bing, like that. We're gonna fill them full of secrets and love letters and hugs and kisses. And we're gonna stash them all over Seattle in some of my favorite places to visit. So I'm hoping that in the next four or five days-ish that we still have just left here, you guys will go out and find them because our reward to you for finding them will be that we will creatively spell out your name and then tweet you a picture. If you first tweet us with the hashtag stash in Seattle and a picture of you holding like the scroll, the trinket or whatever. And another thing, if you go out and you get a scroll try to make that your only scroll we want a lot of other people to be able to go out and scavenge and find the fun trinkets and fun notes and be a part of it so should we go to our first location we should go to our first location we're really excited about this should we Wayne's world it or like snap magic we should snap one two three we made it we are at University Village this is the best place to come if you want to do a little shopping in Seattle it's outdoor, it's usually gorgeous because what? Seattle has really amazing no, weather in really almost does. every season. Yeah, so if you wanna come here, you can see such lovely things as one of the like four to seven Starbucks that are on every corner, not even kidding about that. There's lovely places to dine. There is a play structure in the center for the kids to get all their wiggles out. You can have some Menchie's frozen yogurt and paint your own pottery. If you saw a weekly bit, maybe the last one or a couple ago, I showed Scarlett and Luca and they were playing near the little frogs, the spitty frogs. So we're gonna go somewhere around there. The poor turtle though, seriously, what did he do you guys? Seriously. In order to not draw more attention to ourselves, we couldn't use that planter or that planter that's right over. So we are just west of that location in this planter here. And the deed is done. There's a goat. Say hi to the goat if you come and get it. Okay, or you would be really obedient and do what I tell you to do. Okay, what else do I do? On to the next. We are now at Meridian Park, which I've never been at before, so I'm going to show you a couple of my favorite spots. Sounds good, that makes sense. I, all of the sense. Right out of the gate, one of my first favorite things are all of the fruit trees that surround us, but the fruit seems to be all on the ground, so we have a collection of inedible edibles. Another favorite thing is all of these open spaces. Frolic with us, won't you? Okay. This is not a bit. Can't talk. No. Behind the scenes, super not in the best <coughs> physical health that it should be. Okay, oh bye. Fun Seattle factoid. When all stick built outhouses were destroyed in the great Seattle fire of 1814, this was erected as a community butt bunker to provide all those affected with some relief. A couple of actual Meridian Park facts is I used to teach here in a past life when I used to do summer camps for science club. So I was told all of these amazing little legends about this place. I was told that this building used to be a school for wayward girls, so I debated whether I should drop Jess off there or not, but I think I'll keep her. The park is filled with produce gardens that are maintained by children and enjoyed by the whole community. Old growth trees, the farmer's market, playgrounds, even a gazebo. There's just so many lovely things to see here. Look it, it says give love, and that's what we're doing. We're doing, we're oh, giving love, give to love. The city. Look, somebody made their porch decor have a guardian for the park. But um, it's quite the blunderbuss it's holding. Maybe I shouldn't be filming somebody's house where they would take a skeleton, decorate it in ladies' clothes, and then bungee cord a gun to its hand. Okay, we're done. Sexy ladies. Really love these. How internet. We're handing it over. They're gonna keep it safe until you come get it. My name's Roger. I'll be here. Ask okay. for Roger. Ask for Roger. Now we 
are headed to the only troll that's doing good stuff on the internet. And a bush. <laughs> and a bush. And a bush. <laughs> Woohoo! Since there are so many tourists that love to come to this place, we had to go like off the beaten path. So just west of the troll. Up the stairs, the third post up on the left is where you'll find the scroll. So the troll is over here and the post is over here. Yay! When in Seattle, you have to come take a spin on our gorgeous Great Wheel. I suggest riding it right at sunset. Watch the sun go down as the city lights come on. Yeah, best view in the city. So come find it. It is stationed right between the Seattle Aquarium and you can enjoy the gorgeous lights from our stadium as well. So now we just need to find a spot to stash it. Our little friend, Ollie the Otter, right here in front of the aquarium is going to keep a good eye on the scroll in the planter. And it's in. Goodbye, Great Wheel. Bye. We've arrived at another gorgeous Seattle park. This one has some iconic shots where Sleepless in Seattle was filmed. We're gonna run. <laughs> this place speaks for itself. I'm just gonna let you take it in and enjoy it. Just there you can see Kite Hill. While you fly your kite, you have a gorgeous view of the city and you can enjoy the natural sundial that's atop of it. This is how it got its namesake, Gasworks Park. Goodbye, my lover. No to smoking, but yes to scrolls. Not that one, but this side. Got it? Got it. Goodbye, Gasworks. To the Space Needle. <laughs> and now our final location, the Mecca of Seattle, the Space Needle. If you're at Vlogger Fair, you have no excuse to not come grab this scroll because it's just a stone's throw away from the exhibition hall. So come over, take your little selfie with it and pose for us. Or with the Space Needle or with Bo. Yes, and then hashtag it and send it to us. Yay! Let's go find a place to stash in Seattle. Okay, I turned into a gremlin. I like the way that the trees are going. Yeah. So we've got the needle, we've got the chihuly flowers, and right here is a little park. We're gonna go find something in this teeny little park. Right. It looks like a good enchanted place where you'd find enchanted things. Follow the path. We found our spot. At the base of the Space Needle, you will find a bench. From the bench, to this way, to right, tucky inny, there is your scroll. Come and get it. That's it, we're done. If you take part and play along with us, make sure that you use the hashtag stash in Seattle and take a picture of yourself with your scroll. Or if you land at one of the locations and it's not there anymore, take a picture of yourself anyways and hashtag it and send it to me. I wanna see you exploring my beautiful city. I hope you guys had fun and I really hope that I get to see you at Vlogger Fair. We did it. Think. <laughs>